Hello and welcome to a new campaign in Crusader Kings 3. We're going to be playing with the new DLC, Friends and Foes. And before we get into who our character is and what our goals are for the series, I want to briefly talk about the DLC. Because a lot of what it's trying to do sounds really interesting and it sets the basis for what we want to do in our campaign. First and foremost, what the DLC adds is it adds a ton of events and also adds a bunch of reworks for old events in the game. And as far as I can tell, what they're aiming to do with these events is they're aiming to create more interconnectedness between the different characters and to create more meaningful uh, relationships between them. Here's an example of what they're trying to do. If we have a look in here, we'll see we have a new button, which allows us to see the memories of the characters. So currently our character has no memories, but imagine if we were to kill another character's father. So we kill them, and everybody knows about it, say it was in a battle or something. And this other character has high intrigue, so decides to try and murder us. They successfully do, but as they're doing so, what would pop up in the event is something saying, I'm doing this because you killed my father. That's the kind of thing that you might find in this DLC. And it's going to be a lot of these memories connecting reasons why people are doing things in other events. And that sounds like a really interesting concept to me. Because it's going to mean that instead of our character Werner here just being a bunch of stats, he's going to be a character who has a bunch of things that have happened to him in his lifetime, who's done a bunch of things to other people, that are, is actually going to be referenced. Which sounds really interesting and really cool. So... That's what the DLC adds. The patch that came with the DLC, on the other hand, added in a whole bunch of stuff which in theory is going to make the AI a lot more greedy and a lot more um, power hungry, I would say. A lot of what it was saying is the AI no longer trusts the player character. Previously, you could say to the AI, yeah, sure, I'm going to join your war and then just do nothing. Now the AI is going to start making its calculations without that sort of information. So. You should start to see the AI blob a lot more, the AI should start expanding, and basically the AI should be a little bit more threatening than it was before. Which sounds really cool with the new relationship system, because we're going to have powerful AI, and we're going to know who they are and what they've done in their life, which is an interesting concept. What they've also done is they've revamped a bunch of the... Uh, vassalization stuff and faction stuff so you should see a lot more peaceful vassalizations of different people depending on the um i'm trying to think of the right way of putting it depending on uh, a bunch of different factors which would make it, uh, land appealing to vassals for instance they've added in a modifier which is if your existing powerful vassals like you more vassals will be willing to join your uh, country so we're going to see a lot of different um Lobs forming potentially from non-aggression, which sounds interesting as a different concept. They've also made it so that factions are, in theory, easier to deal with because you're going to have more time after they say, like, we're ready to fire an ultimatum before they actually do. But the factions themselves are going to be a lot stronger when you get to them. They're going to have more men at arms, they're going to have more money, and it's going to be a little bit more of a problem to deal with. So... From that point of view, it's definitely encouraging a lot more realm management. So, what are we going to be doing in this playthrough? What's going to make it interesting? Well, we're going to be trying to create Switzerland. Because I've never done it, and it sounds like an interesting idea. So you don't actually need an awful lot to create Switzerland. You only need this amount of stuff to create the uh, Swiss Confederation to give it its actual title. You only need these five titles. However... What we're then going to do is we're going to try and become independent from the Holy Roman Empire. So we're basically going to make the largest power in the realm or in like our section of the world very, very unhappy with us. So we're going to create the Swiss Confederation. We're going to become independent. And we're going to try and just stay independent with small amounts of land for a while. And then we'll see what we want to do after that point. But my goal is to make it so that we're a self-sustaining small nation. So we're inherently going to be looking to uh, punch above our weight. We're going to be looking for powerful um, allies to help us. We're going to be looking for... Um, specific characters with great stats to help us we're going to be looking for great educations we're going to be looking for ways to make money all of that sort of stuff in our small nation however before we even get to that we're actually just this guy 
he holds one county and really isn't that powerful. I mean, how many troops do we have? We have 585. Our neighbor has 596. Our other neighbor has 1,121. We're the weakest person out of three, which is not a great situation to be in because we could expect that we might actually just get swallowed by Swabia. Are we part of their de jure land? Uh, luckily, no. Luckily, we're not part of their de jure land, so they don't actually have a reason to declare war on us, but... Oh, I didn't spot this little one before. 345. Okay, so we may be the weakest out of the three, but there is also uh, a fourth over here, which is a little bit weaker that we could potentially do something against. Are they part of our old Switzerland uh, land? That could be a good first war. Let's have a look. Uh, they are. Okay, so that could be a good first war for us to secure a little bit of power, but we'll need to see how things go. Before we even get to that... Let's look at our character. So we're Count Werner. We have um, reasonable martial and pretty good intrigue. So if we can find a scheme, that would probably work pretty well for us. We have two children, uh, one male, one female. So a son and a daughter. We have a sister who is married to Count Ulrich of Bern. So we're, uh, we, in theory, can get an alliance with our neighbor here. Let's see if he wants it. Yeah. I mean, right now, we would love to have his land, but he's more powerful than us. We're looking to attack this person. That seems like a great ally for us. And maybe in a generation or two, we can take his land. So, let's leave it there and just get ourselves an alliance. I mean, the alliance isn't forever. It's only the length of our sister's life or the length of his life. And he's 47, she's 37. So, we're looking at like a 25-year alliance. So, that's generally okay. I think I'm happy with that. Uh, next thing, let's have a look at our son. Now, we need to find him a good education. Now, every single time I look for education, I always forget the exact factors involved. So, I have a guide up next to us. So, here's what we need to do for our education. We need to, in the simplified guide, find somebody who we trust not to kill our kid. We should be able to do that. We, have, uh, we are part of the Hasburg dynasty. So, there should be somebody in our house or in our dynasty who should be able to educate our child or at least somebody who likes us i mean we've got a culture which is central germanic so a lot of people in here are gonna like us we're catholic i don't think we're gonna have trouble with the first part second part or second to fourth part in this guide we want to find somebody who has a good trait so genius intelligent quick shrewd all of that sort of stuff really helps with your education factors um, having the value of the primary attribute, which matches what our child's focus is going to be, matters. So our child's focus currently is Marshall. Um, I think we're going to keep it there. I think Marshall's fine. Because when he's going to be in charge, we're going to be looking at potentially attacking Burn, potentially attacking Suavia. So we definitely want him to be a little bit stronger in terms of the Marshall stuff. So that's good. And then you want to have learning attribute be high as the sixth one. So that all seems very doable. Um, so, let's find him an educator. Oh, they've changed the icon on that. That's interesting. So, we could educate him. Uh, I don't think we're going to be the best one. We have a reasonable stat for Marshall, but generally nothing else. None of the other stuff matters. I mean, apart from number one, we can be trusted not to kill our kid. Okay. Uh, let's sort by uh, Marshall here. So, like, we are the best Marshall on the land. You have a little bit better learning, but no good traits. Yeah, so it doesn't look like we have anybody in our court who is reasonably going to be a better educator than us. So let's find somebody not in our court. So I'm looking for somebody. Let's look in the top realm. So that's going up to my liege's realm. My liege's liege's realm. Looking for that. This doesn't seem right. Is that really the person with the highest marshal? No, that is not. Oh, it's because it's sorted by diplomacy. Uh, I thought those were lined up, but they weren't. There we go. I was thinking, 10 Marshall? That can't be the highest. Right. So how about Count Engelbert? He doesn't like us very much, but he doesn't really dislike us any amount. He only doesn't like us because of cultural acceptance. Otherwise, he doesn't really know us. Uh, let's see whether you would be willing to educate my child. So we're going to offer him a ward. We're going to offer him my son. Would you do it? He would. Okay. So he's a fair option. Um, now, he doesn't have genius, intelligent, quick, or shrewd. So we're going to leave that a second, but we'll remember him. You know what? We're just going to pin him for a second. We'll unpin him after we finish this search. And then, so he's option number one. He is the highest marshal. 
Um, potentially Count uh, Gerud of Geneva could be good, but he actually doesn't like us. Like, personally doesn't like us, so that's probably not good. Uh, let's look for genius. Do we have any geniuses? Is that actually filtered? That, oh, does not appear to have filtered. Let me try again. Genius. Click on there. Perfect. There's only one genius. Doesn't really have the stats that we're looking for. Okay. Uh, intelligence. Perfect. That one. Again, there's two intelligent. Neither of them really have the stats we're looking for. Uh, quick. Uh, anybody got stats? So oh, you've got quick. You got seven uh, teen marshal. You you seem like you'd be reasonable. Ludwig uh, von uh, Sigmar Ringen could be okay. Um, potentially also a uh, Sigurd of Kaiserslautern could be fine. I'm probably butchering all the names, but that's uh, par for the course here. And then Shrewd. Let's have a look here. So you have really, really good martial. You are Shrewd, which is a good trait. You have reasonable learning. You seem perfect. Count Otger. Uh, now, he doesn't like us very much. I think we might be okay here. I think we might be okay here. Uh, let's risk it. So I'm going to offer you my player son. You will accept. Because it's my child. So he's happy with that. He doesn't like us, we're not of the same culture, but generally he's he's okay with it. Cool. Uh, I think we're fine. He was going to gain 25 opinion of us for doing this. Yeah, I'm happy. We could convert culture to Saxon if we wanted to. I don't see any particular benefit to doing that, so let's just send that one through. So he's going to educate our son. Now our daughter's education doesn't matter too much. It does matter a little bit. Uh, because if our son dies, our land, I'm assuming, will drop to our daughter. Let me just double check that that's true. Yes, so our land will go to our daughter uh, if our son was to die. So, uh, we probably want to marry our daughter off matrilineally. Because it doesn't look like we're going to have another child from our wife. I mean, she's 39. She does have Lustful, which gives extra fertility. But it's unlikely that we're going to have more children with her. So, um... If we're making her kind of our backup heir, uh, let's see what we want to do with her. We don't know which one of our educations we want to do with her yet. Yeah, she's only two. Let's wait a couple years, but remember that we have to actually care what her education is. Cool. What's next? Uh, petition Liege. I don't think we need to do that right now. I don't really see what we want to petition him for, so that's fine. Pay homage to our liege. We could potentially do that. Um, all it will do is make our liege like us more, and I think it will give us more um, points towards our legacy and his legacy, something like that. Uh, but I, or yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then what else have we got? Lifestyle. Okay, so we're already quite far through a martial lifestyle. So serve the crown gives us control growth. We're be we're better at defending in our own territory. All of this seems good. Um, fort level is higher. Siege progress against revolts is higher. Vassals are have a harder time creating factions. Costs less money when we go to war. We can reinforce our troops quick, quicker. Mercenaries are cheaper. And we have absolute control. So absolute control is just like an extra benefit in a county. I assume we already have it. Yeah. So you see how this changes to absolute. It just gives us an extra boost. I mean, if we look at another one, instead of being like at 100... We're just at absolute. So that's fine. Does it tell us how much the benefit is? Yes, yeah, so it's like 10% on tax. And then it's 5% in terms of our levies. Okay, it's not insignificant. And we could potentially go into it again to get maybe Overseer. That would give us more control growth, more martial, more stewardship. I mean, that seems good. Another option is that we go Intrigue and we start actually plotting against people. So fabricating hooks and all of that sort of stuff. Not sure we need to do any of this right now. I actually kind of think the Marshal might be our best uh, route forward. Um, let's go Marshal and then just Flat Marshal maybe. Yeah, there we go. We'll start working our way towards Overseer. We can then start moving into other things like Strategist gives you reduced cost for the Tlowing Wars. All sorts of things there. So, that's an option. Right. Uh, do we have any other alliances? So we're already getting an alliance with you. 
I don't think we have any others. We could potentially marry off our son for an alliance, but I don't think we need to. I think we're going to be set. Uh, do we think this person's going to get an alliance with anyone? He's not married, so he could marry. His sibling is not married, so that's fine. And his children are both unmarried. So they could marry and he could get an alliance, but I think actually we can take his uh, land here. Anything else that we need to do? We're already doing a guardian. We can declare war on Upper Lorraine. Oh, we might not have a Cass's Belly to declare the war next to us now that I think about it. For my claim. I don't want Upper Lorraine. We're just going to ignore that for just now. Hire a court physician. That's probably a sensible idea, but we'll leave it for just now. And there's an active election in the Holy Roman Empire. I don't want to vote for me. Uh, am I allowed to vote at all, actually? I, I don't think I get a vote. No, I don't get a vote, so it doesn't matter. What, what I want, really not relevant. Uh, let's pay homage to our liege. And we could just demonstrate submission, probably. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just turn up and swear fealty. Servants usher me into Kaiser Henrik IV's Great Hall in Klingenberg, where he sits on his throne waiting to hear my pledge. I go to kneel before him, but in my haste awkwardly stumble in a heap at his feet. Not a good start. I haul myself up and make the oaths all the same, my cheeks burning red before the assembled court. With that, the ceremony is complete. I have nothing to offer my Kaiser except my promise to faithfully serve as a vassal of the Empire. Henrik grins broadly beneath his, uh, behind his hand as the court slowly fills with laughter. This is how I will be remembered. I should never have come. So he gets renown. I spend prestige and he dislikes me more. Okay, so that was just like really bad. Does that, is that a memory? No, so that was not memory. That was not um, like important enough to be remembered. Right. Um, I think uh, I'm just going to have a look at you. We do not have a reason to declare war. Would the Pope give me a reason to declare war? Absolutely not. They are not interested. Okay. Let's have a look at our council. Uh, you are absolutely terrible. I'm not allowed to replace you because um, you're not allowed to as a Catholic. So, like, really, we're in a bad spot with you. Let's see. How long is this going to take? Still two years, so that's not too bad. Um, you are my best chancellor. Let's see what we, we're going to get you to do. Probably, I guess foreign affairs, we don't have that many vassals, so it doesn't really matter what their opinion of me is. Uh, collect taxes seems sensible here. Spy master. Are you, oh, are you my best steward? Yeah, I suspect everyone here is going to be my best one. Spy master, we do have a better one, but we would have to have a worse steward, so I'm okay with that. Nobody's going to be plotting against us for just now. Then my marshal, we could do with a better marshal. Let's see if we can find somebody who's willing to join. There is a filter for willing to join, isn't there? A reset for that. Uh, I might be thinking of Crusader Kings 2. I think I'm thinking of Crusader Kings 2. So if I search all for that plus... Um, well, maybe I'll just do it by opinion. Yeah, sorry. Where's opinion? Opinion of you. I have a great opinion of me. Uh, and then we'll just go down. So people who aren't in our court. So maybe you? You're not in my court. You have reasonable marshal. Do you want to join my court? Absolutely not. Okay, well, he's lowborn and he doesn't want to join my court. So I think I'm out of options there. Maybe we could try and fabricate a hook. Uh, we would need to get up to the level of fabricate hooks. But maybe we can. We once we're there, we could start fabricating hooks on people to try and grab people into our court. But... Until then, we're basically stuck with what we've got. We might as well leave you an organized army, increases our levy size. We could potentially switch to this one to give men-at-arms damage. Do we have any men-at-arms? We have one set of men-at-arms and pikemen. Okay, it would also reduce the amount that we're paying for them, right? Yeah, but like, not enough that it actually impacts us. So that's 0 0.6 versus 0 0.6. So yeah, that makes basically no difference. Wait, no, that doesn't actually reduce cost. Oh, I thought it did. Uh, maybe it's something else that reduces... I mean, this one reduces army maintenance. I'm sure that one did reduce it, but maybe it was a specific culture thing or something like that. Anyway, doesn't matter. I think it's time for us to unpause the game. Oh. Petition Liege, don't care. We have formed our alliance, which is great. You've accepted educating my son. Love it. 
So we got the first two things that we wanted. What kind of petitions can we even do again to our liege? We can't find out until we're there. Mm, yeah, our liege doesn't like us. Let's assume that's not going to work. Your dynasty has unlocked House of Warriors. So we're not the dynasty uh, head. So we don't get to choose all of that sort of stuff. But, you know, House of Warriors isn't bad. Uh, I went to the wrong bit there. I wanted to go to Legacies. So this one gives us extra prowess for every member of the dynasty. Plus, knight effectiveness 15%. That's a pretty solid first option. That's one that I go with quite often because, you know, it's just kind of good. There's no negative to it. It's fine. Limited crown authority exists, which means titles can be revoked. Not a problem. Looks like some borders are changing slightly down here. It, generally, when the name shuffles, it means the border is shuffled slightly. That's okay. We're fabricating a claim. Let's go to speed five because I don't think anything is happening. And we'll just chill. There's not a lot to do until we get our first claim, but once we get it, it'll be good. Um, I had marked you, but I don't think we need you. You were somebody who was going to educate my son, potentially, but we don't need you to. That's fine. Um, I spent 100 piety because I was accused of fabricating a claim. Well, I mean, to be fair to the accusation, I am fabricating a claim. Wait, we can designate a guardian for Otto? I thought we we just hit did. Maybe, did he say no? Uh, I th he might have said no. I just assumed he said yes. Okay, well, uh, I was looking for a log. Maybe there isn't one. That's fine. Uh, just to see whether we could find out. I, I guess I will find another person to educate my son. Um, so we're looking for top realm. Sort by Marshall. Sort by Shrewd. There we go. There's, there's nobody with Shrewd in, in our top realm. Did he die? <laughs> Wait. Yeah, did, what, what happened to him? Yeah, I'm fairly certain that that dude no longer exists. Wait, is there anybody with Shrewd in the game? At all? Um. Yeah, but not the person who we had educating our son. Oh. Okay, so he no longer exists. Well, that would explain why he's no longer educating my son. I mean, that's fair. Um, existence is like a requirement for that. Um, how about you? Ruprecht of Nassau. You seem like you would be fine. Or Garud of Geneva. Both of them would be okay. Let's go with... Um, wait, no. Uh, there we go. I have to actually click it. Neither of them actually had this. The, what I was looking for. All right, Sigurd of Kaiserslautern. He was one that we looked at. There we go. Why don't you educate my son? This seems fine. Yourself? Yes, that seems all okay. We will send him off. He is happy with it. Excellent. Right. Hopefully he doesn't disappear from existence, as our previous one did. We're ill. Well, that's not good. I guess I'll look for a court physician. Um... So I can either recruit uh, Gout Seelen or Car uh, Carlot. So, um, neither of the, you are particularly good. This is a new background, which is kind of neat. Apparently, they've added in a ton of new backgrounds and just little things as well. Um, I guess I will hire you. Uh, do no more than is necessary. We're ill. We don't have a specific illness, so it doesn't really matter. And generally, you'd... If you choose, like, just do an okay job, you always get, like, something like reduced disease symptoms. Like, this is your most common thing, which just basically means you're going to be fine as long as it is just an illness and not anything more. So, that's okay. Right. How is our claim going? Eh, we're getting there. We're getting there. It's working its way up. The challenge. I'm sparring with one of my soldiers, sweat beating on my forehead, when I experience the uncanny sensation of being watched. Looking over my shoulder, I spot my Chancellor, Kuno, who waves at me. I walk over to greet him. We talk about our weapon practice for a while, trading tricks and advice. Just now I'm about to leave for another round. Kuno's face lights up and he suggests we practice together. He looks about 12, but that's okay. You can say challenge accepted or I'd rather not. Now, realistically, we're likely to lose no matter what. I would gain stress because I'm a craven. But I think we should do it anyway. There's a chance we win, and getting that lifestyle experience is good either way. 
The sound of swords, uh, of sword clashing against hammer echoes between the courtyard walls. All eyes are on us. Everyone wants to see their count fighting his chancellor. I must be tired from my previous practice because I move sluggishly, unable to keep up with my opponent. When I lunge, he is already gone, and my parry has come at the very last moment. It's not long before I find myself on the ground before him. So I say, only cowards surrender. Well, we are a coward, so I yield well fought. There we go. He likes us better because we were an honorable duelist and we gained some experience. Is that a memory? That is not a memory. That is not important enough to be a memory. I'm going to be looking for a memory in forever until we actually get it. Hey, we're no longer ill. Wonderful. Under the stone pine. In the scorching midday heat, they sit in the shadow under a great stone pine, playing on lutes and flutes. They sing in many tongues, yet my heart can understand every word. I hear them from my balcony and they stir my soul. Yet I do not know the identity of these musicians. When I leave my lofty halls and approach the tree, they are gone. Are they sent from heaven? Are they phantoms devised uh, by Satan to ensnare me? Perhaps not. What am I to do with these damned feelings? So I can be awed by beauty, which gives us um, reduced stress gain. I can sponsor some musicians. That seems like a very fiscally irresponsible move, given that that would cost my entire treasury plus an extra four gold. Or I will have the trees chopped down. Well, that also seems pretty bad. I think I'll just be awed by beauty for just now. That seems fine. Oh, the claim's getting there. It's starting to get there. We're almost there. Bite and tear. Understand you're interested in deepening your grasp on warfare. Anno purses his lips as he approaches me. I might be able to help you see the battlefield in new ways. Anno is well known for his mastery of fierce and overwhelming tactics. If there was one who could help me understand, it would be him. So he can become my mentor and try and teach me the reckless skill or I'll leave it to my generals. Sure, let's try and learn it. My beloved sister. It does not escape my notice that my sister is a very good looking woman. The way she smiles and folds her hands never fails to make my heart flutter. What's really funny and the reason I'm laughing is I'm fairly certain I read in the patch notes that they were reducing the number of um, incest uh, romance events. Immediately. We've had the game unpaused for what? Seven minutes? And we got an event. Wow. Um... Well, I mean, we'd gain stress if we said no, so obviously, are these normal feelings to have towards a sister? We'll continue that line, I guess. A new claimant of all the buffoonery I've ever seen. In Kuno's inane efforts to improve my relations with my neighbors, my good-for-nothing chancellor has, offici has officially acknowledged Count Ulrich's claim on uh, to the county of uh, Argau, my primary title. Ulrich of... Oh, so my neighbor. Okay, at least he's not got any um, alliances. That, that, that's a positive. We have our claim. It's going to cost me 114 gold. My god. I'll take it. Well, we're 57 gold uh, in debt, which is not ideal, but we have a claim. And once we gain just a little bit of money in 58 months, we will be able to declare war. And that's going to be our plan. For next time. Thank you for watching. Now, I only do this at the start of the first episode in a series, uh, or at the end of the first episode in a series. Um, please like, subscribe, comment, all of that sort of stuff. It really helps the channel grow and it really helps the first episode of a series grow in terms of SEO and all of that sort of stuff because this is where most people find the series and it's where like most uh, viewers will come to a series, you know, episode one. It all kind of makes sense. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.